Let's turn to a medical mystery now, the strange disappearance of the flu. Usually this time of year, countless Canadians are knocked off their feet by the virus, but this year, flu rates are at the lowest they've been in ages. CBC medical specialist Dr. Carl Cabasel is here to explain why, so not that we're complaining, of course, but what happened to the flu? Well, you know, in any given flu season, there are multiple factors that influence how the season will play out. But let me just identify a few that will explain why we're having such a mild flu season, starting with the fact that the circulating strains of the virus have remained largely unchanged over the past couple of years. We also are seeing widespread immunity among Canadians, as well as the fact that we've had a milder winter. Now, the way the these factors sort of play together, the first two are, are very closely related. So the fact that we're seeing similar strains means people have already been exposed to them. If they got sick, they're now immune. Or the fact that the flu shot, people are getting flu shots in high numbers, and that's giving them immunity. In terms of the uh, milder winter, when we have a cold, dry winter, the flu virus is, uh, is more easily transmitted. Mm. As well, when it's colder, people sort of congregate together indoors and can pass the virus back and forth. All right, well, the good news is the winter is almost over. Does that mean we're out of the woods here? Not just yet. We're not off the hook. So we never know exactly when the flu season is going to end until we look back and notice the number of cases trailing off. It's still possible that we'll see more cases moving forward. All right, so gone today, could be back tomorrow. What about next year? Well, just because this may turn out to be a mild flu season doesn't mean we're off the hook for next year either. And each flu season is a clean slate. So consider getting your flu shot this year if you haven't already, and definitely for next year. All right, good advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you. Carl Cabasel.